simplify the square root of 48 minus 5 root 3. Here is the answer. It's minus root 3. But if you want to know why, keep watching. For this question, we need to know perfect squares. It's a square that has a very nice whole number as a root. So the square root of 1, it's 1, because 1 times 1 is 1. The, the square with area 4 is a perfect square because it's 2 times 2 is 4. Another one, it's because the square root of 9 is 3. Another one is 16 because 4 times 4 is 16. Another one is 25 because 5 times 5 is 25. So here are some perfect squares. Now, can we use perfect squares to simplify, especially the first term? So let's try that. So 40, square root of 48, it's also equal to the square root of 16 times 3. Do you see why? Because 16 times 3 is 48. But the square root of all of this is also equal to the square root of 16 times the square root of 3. We really like that because now we're going to have square root of 3 here and square root of 3 here. That means we'll be able to do this operation. So the square root of 16, we know from the perfect square right here that it is equal to 4. So we have 4 times the square root of 3 is also equal to 48. So we could rewrite all of this as times square root of 3 minus 5 times square root of 3. Now, because we have the same terms here, we can simply evaluate 4 minus 5, which is equal to minus 1. So this is the final answer, minus square root of 3. If you have trouble with this part, you can think about it as like this. Imagine this is the length square root of 3 and you've got four of these square root of 3, square root of 3, square root of 3 and then you're subtracting five of these. Then you're going to be left with one div square root 3 as a side length. And this is the final 